Suffering is the truth, nothing more. I'm wondering how many of you know how to make silence work for you. I wonder, in fact, if you realize just how valuable silence can be in solving all of your problems. Too often we tend to think of silence as a negative thing. Well, it can be much, much more than that. It can be one of the most important things in your life. Moreover, at times it can say far more with much greater eloquence than the longest speech. Now, I don't believe in making sweeping generalities about countries, and yet I can't help but think that the Japanese have, more than any other people, understood the value of silence. When I was in Japan recently, I spent some time studying their techniques of employing silence as a tool. I'll pass on to you what I learned from them on this subject after this message. The Japanese treat silence as a kind of ritual which they call Ryomi, and they use it in tackling the thorniest of problems. The whole point of Ryomi is to get yourself to relax and grow still, to become the very essence of peacefulness. The word Ryomi translates into something like the taste of coolness. What a beautiful image. Well, the Japanese begin by taking a nice warm bath in a communal pool. This has an immediate relaxing effect. You suddenly become quiet and let the voices of silence talk to you. Pretty soon you feel like philosophizing as though out of nowhere you've just been given wisdom. And this isn't the end of it. When you come out of the bath, you put on a sort of cotton kimono, sit on a straw mat, and quietly listen to the wind tinkling little bells, and watch the lantern swaying overhead in the soft breeze. Then you're brought a little bowl of amber tea, which you savor thoughtfully, communing with the serenity in that little bowl. This way, your mind brings the scattered ends of life together. The heat goes out of your thinking, and you begin to get the taste of coolness. Even though we don't enjoy this kind of ritual, we can all find a quiet place where we can let silence work its magic on ourselves. And above all, don't kid yourself into believing that you don't have the time for silence. Bear in mind that through silence you become far more efficient in all of your tasks. The rational answer to a problem seldom comes through panicky action. See if silence can't work for you as the greatest time saver of all.